Hey people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well, Annie Goodell. Okay, right now I'm going to take a look at UK house prices, which are basically falling at the fastest rate for over a decade, going all the way back to just after the global financial crash of 2008. So this actual uh, article is talking about house prices falling fastest rate since 2009, as basically, you know, shared by Nationwide. It's a Guardian article. So it says here, August 5.3% drop comes as sales completions down by about 40% in the first half of the year in comparison to 2021, which is just a couple of years ago. Now, you may be aware with obviously, I think a lot of this is going to be factored around the mortgage element because interest rates have gone up. So those individuals who are purchasing properties for investment purposes, buy to let, basically purchasing on a mortgage and then you know, renting them out to tenants and so on. It's difficult for those people now because the mortgage, you know, rates have gone a lot higher. You know, previously for many years, the interest rates were very low, but now the interest rates have gone up, uh, you know, quite significantly, just over 5%. So that's causing, you know, a lot of mortgage prices to go up and that might be an indicator, but let's dive in and find out what's going on. So it says here, UK house prices fell by 5.3% in August, compared with the same month last year, the fastest annual drop in 14 years, according to Nationwide Building Society. Now, I think it's not just the UK, it's happening in other parts of the world as well, but here it's talking about the UK context. The lender said the fall, which was the biggest in July 2009, when the global economy was, was in the depths of the financial crisis, like I mentioned in terms of uh, the crash, was driven by sorry mortgage costs again which i mentioned which are putting off potential buyers average house prices are more than fourteen thousand five hundred lower than they were a year ago and mortgage approvals have plummeted by a fifth compared with pre-pandemic levels obviously first time buyers you know couples newly married people those young people who are trying to buy a house you know the first house are now going to really struggle prices fell 0.8 in august compared with july Dragging down the typical price of a UK home to £259,153. The softening is, is not surprising given the extent of the rise in borrowing costs in recent months. As I mentioned, the interest rate is going up. So it says here, which has resulted in activity in the housing markets running well below pre pandemic levels. And that was basically you know, that was a statement from Robert Gardner, chief uh, economist at Nationwide. Now, these mortgage rates have risen sharply, again, as mentioned, over the last few months or so. And this was the Bank of England, which basically has been raising interest rates like hot kicks, you know, 14 times since uh, December 21. Like I said, from very low figures, this one's 0.1%, all the way to just over 5%, currently at 5.25%. That's a massive, you know, you can see the massive difference there in the space of a couple of years. Nationwide said the number of completions of house sales was down 20% in the first half of the year compared with 2019 and about 40% down on 2021 when the UK experienced a housing sales boom because of factors including low interest rates and the implementation of stamp duty holiday by the government. So you can see the proportion of people buying with cash has remained strong. The number of completions by those requiring a mortgage has plummeted so obviously we got cash people are buying so those who have businesses those who you know have cash saved up have been banking during uh, the happy days and now you know uh, have that cash there ready to kind of you know basically put into the marketplace and purchase properties in cash they are at an advantage whereas those who are looking to buy to let you know to investment uh, mortgages they obviously are disadvantaged so home move completions with the mortgage in the first half of 2023, you know, 33% lower than 2019 levels, while first-time buyers numbers were about 25% lower, Gardner said. By contrast, cash purchases were actually up 2%. Again, just the reason I just explained. So the relative weakness of mortgage activity reflects mounting affordability pressure as a result of the sharp rise in mortgage rates since last autumn. Earlier this week, a report by the property portal Zoopla 
particularly that the number of UK homes sold this year would fall to the lowest levels you know, in more than a decade, which is a headline that caught my attention just a few days ago. Uh, obviously, as somebody who owns a real estate company, these are important. You know, it's a part topic for me, part issue for me. But the sort of cost of mortgage is putting off home buyers. Now, house sales reaching completion are expected to fall 21% year on year to about you know 1 million in 2023, the lowest level since 2012. So obviously the house building rates here in Britain are quite low at the moment, and you know that is also going to be an issue. So it says you know the competition for homes to purchase to rent is how very high at the moment. That's why you know rent prices have gone up quite high as well at the moment in the last couple of years as well. So constant interest rates rises are making affordability difficult for buyers who are trying to move with many having little option but to wait until rates settle, said Tom Abodi, a director of the property lender and T Finance. With some better news on inflation recently, it will be useful if the Bank of England postponed the next rate rise, giving the market some breathing space to adjust. Although they haven't said that, I mean, generally speaking, it looks like they will be increasing the interest rates uh, another couple of times before the end of the year. But we'll find out very, very shortly uh, when they release the next set of data. Okay, people, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what you think. Please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest in the economic financial space. Okay, people, catch you in the next one.